Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to our live stream on YouTube. It's really great to have you here today. For those of you who are new to our channel, my name is Irina and I'm a learning and development consultant um, who's been in this industry for over a decade now. In 2022, my colleague and very dear friend uh, Raya and I founded the L&D Academy uh, to really help fellow L&D practitioners navigate the field more efficiently. Um, our online academy is really designed to provide valuable resources, templates, checklists, as well as top tips and tricks uh, on our blog. And we cater to L&D professionals with different backgrounds. Um, we're actually very proud to offer a few self-paced online courses for those of you interested in taking their career to the next level. Now, for a limited time only, we'll offer you 20% discount on all of our courses. Uh, stick around until the end of the stream to get the code. It will only be valid for seven days after the stream, so seven days from today. So don't miss out on this opportunity. And now let's just dive into the topic we're all here for, uh, and that is marketing for L&D. Now, what we'll do is uh, we'll use the example of a leadership development program, but this can be applied. Everything we talk about today can be applied to really any learning and development program that you design and implement internally. Now, here is what we will do. In um, our promotional message for this event, we promise to talk about several things and we definitely will, uh, but right after that, we will go to now my favorite tool really, ChatGPT, and we'll see how we can implement the theory into practice with its help. So let's review what is it exactly that we promised you. Now, we said that in this session, we will first and foremost discuss various strategies and techniques that can be used to promote leadership development programs. And we'll talk about the key factors that contribute to um, L&D marketing success. The first one being, how do you identify your target audience? How do you create a compelling marketing message that really resonates with your target audience? And how do you craft marketing materials that effectively communicate the value of your program? Now we'll look at uh, the types of uh, marketing materials. I don't think we'll have time to actually uh, create one ourselves, but if this is something that you would like to see in the future, let us know down in the comments below um, and we can definitely make this work for you. Uh, on top of this, we'll also talk a little bit about how do you develop a marketing plan and then how do you execute that plan in a way that really generates maximum exposure and maximum engagement with your L&D programs. Again, we'll use the example of a leadership development program, but again, it can be applied to really any L&D program uh, or intervention. And uh, you can really think of these ones as ground rules that we'll set for ourselves before we get our hands dirty, so to speak. So uh, let's review all of them really quickly now. And we'll start with uh, strategies to promote learning and development programs. Now, one of the really great advantages of having to work with internal programs is that you actually have a lot of uh, data at your fingertips to understand who your audience is and how you can communicate with them. So um, again, I'm not going to list a whole bunch of uh, strategies in how or techniques on how you can promote leadership development programs. Instead, I'll more focus on how do you um, actually, or rather, what are some of the options? And then we'll kind of dig deeper into the practicalities of it. So uh, one such technique or one such strategy is to use internal communication channels. Uh, these can be your newsletters. These can be your intranet, um, internal social media platforms, basically any channel that you have at your disposal that you can use to really promote and bring to your potential learners attention the program that you want to promote. And that could mean uh, talking about the details of any upcoming sessions, any training materials or job aids, uh, or even success stories. Um, and we will talk about those uh, later. Um, another strategy is to leverage the senior management support. Uh, in other words, to encourage them to endorse your program. And uh, if they've been part of it in the past, which I especially when it comes to leadership development, I always recommend starting with senior leaders and then working your way uh, through the ranks or through the hierarchy uh, because they can then talk about their experience with the program. And this can really help build credibility, help build trust with uh, your audience in the future or with your potential learners in the future. Now, 
There is one more option that I want to share very briefly with you, and uh, I myself don't have experience with it, but someone very recently shared this with me. This is something that they're doing for their organization, uh, and that is um, some kind of a referral program. In other words, encouraging people, encouraging employees who have completed the program in the past to refer others who might be interested in this program. Uh, and they are offering different incentives like uh, discounts for courses or discounts for books, uh, free training and development resources. Um, and I think they have a bunch of other rewards to really motivate people. Again, I haven't used this, uh, but I thought it was a really fun uh, way to look at it. So again, these are just three of the possibly hundreds of different strategies that you can use. But like I said, we will go through these fairly quickly so that we can actually start talking practicality and kind of dig deeper into it using ChatGPT. So now that we know a little bit about kind of setting the context for this, let's talk about the key success factors. And we'll start with how do you identify your target audience? Um, your target audience is, uh, when it comes to leadership development programs, is most of the time your management or leadership population. In some cases, it could be your high potential employees or uh, people who've been identified as potential successors in any succession planning that you may have. Uh, but regardless of who they are, because again, you may be developing a different learning and development program, uh, so you need to essentially kind of develop a deep understanding of the needs of your audience, of their preferences, of um, everything that essentially will help you to create a compelling marketing message, not to mention learning design. Uh, so here's some of the things that you could look out for. Uh, that could be their background, uh, their goals, their professional goals, uh, their motivation, any pain points or fears that they have as part of their day-to-day -day job, uh, their learning style or preferences, and don't come for me about the learning styles. It's a whole discussion. It's not as simple as saying that learning styles are bullshit. Oops, sorry, I don't know if that's allowed to, if I'm allowed to say that word, but you get my point. Um, what else would you, would you try to understand there? Well, something we call deal maker and deal breaker. Essentially, you want to understand what is it that would compel your potential learners to sign up or the participants of your programs to sign up and really learn. And then what are the things that would put them off? Um, and one more thing that you can also uh, dig deeper, a little bit deeper into is their interests, uh, just to kind of round up who you're talking to. Now, we do have a learner persona template, which you can download right now for free. The link is in the description below here on the screen. You see a screenshot of the first page later on. I'll show you the second page. Now the first page is just a sample. Uh, we'll create something very similar to this uh, later on. Um, so if you want to download it, if you want to use it for your development programs or for your marketing efforts, definitely download it. Again, it's completely free and the link is in the description down below. Uh, so now that we know who our target audience is, we can actually then craft a compelling marketing message that would be right for them. Uh, so what do we actually include in that uh, marketing message? Well, the first thing you want to do is your unique value proposition. In other words, what are the benefits? Uh, what will the person get out of this program? The with and the what's in it for me? Um, kind of on a more operational level, obviously you want to use language that is clear, that is concise, that is compelling. Uh, and one marketing model that I personally have found to be really useful in creating these kind of compelling marketing messages is the AIDA framework, uh, which is a very common marketing model that stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. Uh, and it kind of outlines uh, the four stages uh, that a potential learner or customer, if we're talking in the broader sense of marketing, goes through before making a purchase or in our case, signing up to a uh, some kind of learning and development program or initiative. Uh, very, very briefly, uh, the first stage of the AE day is attention, where you essentially need to capture your learner's attention and make them aware that the learning program or initiative that you've designed is available to them. Uh, in the second stage, this is the interest, where you need to, well, pique <laughs> their interest and provide them with a little bit more information about your program. Um, and hopefully this will create a bit of a desire in them. This is where you need to uh, 
really highlight the unique benefits and the value that they will get out of this. Again, this is the unique value proposition and we'll talk more about this in a moment. Um, and then action, uh, just prompt them, prompt them to take an action to, you know, sign up for your leadership development program, to download that job eight, to watch that online course. Um, again, we will take a look at some practical examples uh, using ChatGPT for AIDA and how you can use it in your marketing messages a little later on. Uh, but hopefully that will help us also to craft that uh, really compelling marketing message. Uh, now, with that being said, uh, if we know who our target audience is, if we have an idea of what the message to them should be, uh, we should also kind of back it up with some effective marketing materials. Uh, and uh, again, these are just uh, a way to really enrich your communication, uh, to once again demonstrate the value of your program, uh, to showcase its unique features. And it's usually some kind of a mixture of visual and uh, written content that uh, you can use to engage your audience and make a lasting impression. So um, I'm just gonna share like a couple of examples with you. Uh, one of them could be brochures, another one could be videos, social media posts, uh, or even testimonials. And again, uh, we'll at some point, I hope uh, we'll have an opportunity to talk more about those as well. Uh, very briefly, once you have all of these kind of elements in place, it's time to think about your marketing plan. Um, and it's really just an outline for a strategy on how you can promote your uh, leadership development program or again, whatever program that you're uh, trying to promote. And uh, it usually includes details like your target audience, the messaging that you're gonna use, uh, the marketing channels that are most appropriate. Uh, in some cases, you would also think about the budget um, as well as a few other things. And again, I'll show you um, a very simple table that you can use for that. Uh, but again, the marketing plan is really there to kind of help guide your efforts to track your progress towards your goals um, and really bring to life everything that you've worked really hard for. Uh, and then finally, just very briefly, when it comes to uh, your marketing plan, it's, it's not enough to just plan it. <laughs> you should also execute it effectively. Uh, you want to generate massive maximum exposure, you want to generate maximum engagement. Uh, so you want to execute your marketing plan effectively. Uh, and this might include, um, you know, utilizing all the strategies that uh, we've talked about and we will talk about uh, to really promote your program, uh, leverage your senior management support, uh, utilizing employee referral programs that we mentioned. Uh, so all of those good stuff. Uh, but the other thing about executing the plan is also to use the data and analytics to measure how effective uh, your marketing efforts were and, and just really make adjustments as needed. Uh, chances are that uh, you're not producing a one-off program or a one-off leadership program uh, so you can have an opportunity later on in time to kind of adjust what you're doing. So now with all of that being said, let's just jump straight into chat GPT and really follow these as guidelines. Now, a very quick note, because uh, leadership development isn't really the focus of our session today, I won't talk about the design or the facilitation, although chances are that will slip in at some point uh, because we are talking to a machine after all. Uh, but what we'll use is just kind of a generic leadership program, a sample, if you will. Uh, and to make sure that no one comes after me and no one gets offended, I won't use a real program, but instead I'll use ChatGPT to create one for us. Uh, and with that being said, you know what? Let's just jump into it. So let me start a new chat here. Uh, now I do have... Uh, a few prompts and I want to preface this with the fact that I am not an expert in chat GPT. I um, wouldn't know um, if this is the best prompt that I can think of. Uh, so again, don't come after me. I just found through some trial and error uh, that potentially this is uh, kind of the best way to do this exercise that we're trying to do here today. Uh, so here is my prompt. I've uh, prepared it in advance and it says, you are a learning and development practitioner. 
uh, I need you to generate a sample leadership development program which is run internally. And I want you to describe the target audience, including um, their average age, educational background, professional experience, and uh, main pain points, their specific business and learning needs, what learning methods are used, what are the goals of the program and its key performance indicators, and how successful how success is measured. Uh, generate a very short one sentence SWOT analysis of the company the leaders work in. So let's see what chat GPT generates for us. Um, and in the meantime, I'll open up my um, iPad uh, and really just uh, kind of do a shameless plug here. Um, I admit it. So a couple of weeks ago, we released a new blog post and a new video on our channel uh, called the seven steps to successfully market your learning and development program. And the seven steps that we highlighted there are first of all, to identify your target audience, then to define your program's value proposition, create an engaging marketing materials, leverage uh, your internal and external communication channels, measure and analyze your marketing efforts, and finally, to continuously improve and adapt your marketing strategy. So um, if you want to follow this particular step-by-step uh, -step guide, feel free to check out uh, the blog post and the video. Again, links to those are in the description down below but don't do it while you're watching the stream. Uh, make sure you finish this one first before you click away from here. Uh, because for today's stream, and again, we're trying to keep it as basic as possible, we'll really just focus on this, which is the simplified version essentially of the four, oh, sorry, of the seven steps. Um, now, so we'll take a look at kind of uh, these four or five uh, things here on our screen. Um, and we'll first start really with the leadership development program. Um, and uh, I'm gonna, what I'm actually gonna do, I'll go back to uh, ChatGPT because by now it should be ready with the generation. So uh, let me just copy this, uh, come here to my iPad and paste this, there we go. Just gonna increase the size a little bit. There we go. Um, so. As I'm reading through uh, the leadership program that ChatGPT uh, described for us, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to highlight in uh, purple, with purple, uh, the target audience kind of characteristics because that will help us really identify our target audience. Anything related to content and format, I'll highlight in green. And then anything that relates to the unique value proposition that will help us create a compelling uh, message that will go under uh, with will be highlighted with yellow. So with that being said, uh, let's start. So the first one is oh, purple. Uh, let's see. Okay, the curious what mid professionals means age 30 to 45 years old with a bachelor or master degree, uh, five years of experience. Oh, in a leadership role. So these are not first time managers. Okay. Uh, the target audience has expressed pain points around, and this now goes into uh, content, I would imagine. Effective communication, uh, managing teams, achieving business objectives. Although, again, um, this definitely could also explain who our um, ideal, or not ideal, sorry, target audience is. So we'll highlight it in both. Now, Let's take a look at the business and a learning needs. The program aims to develop the leadership skills of mid-career professionals to enable them to lead effectively. Okay, this is now unique value proposition. So what will they get out of this? Lead effectively, communicate persuasively, achieve business objectives through effective team management. Um, participants will learn to identify, ooh, identify and overcome communication barriers. Uh, develop effective team building strategies, drive results through successful project management. And again, by the way, all of these uh, can be considered topics. And I'd imagine these are topics that are covered in some shape or form in the uh, leadership program, which takes us to the learning methods. Uh, the program uses a variety of learning methods, including, okay, so format wise, we have internal training sessions, group coaching, interesting, self-paced e-learning modules, and peer-to-peer -peer learning activities. Um, so I'm just kind of going back over the target audience here. Uh, so these are people who have experience in a leadership role. Uh, one thing that I'm not seeing here is, 
what do they want? What is their professional goal? Um, but, but let's wait. Maybe, maybe it comes later. So the goal of the program is to develop a cohort of high-performing leaders who can effectively uh, manage teams. Okay, this goes to, um, again, can be either unique um, value proposition or the content. So managing teams, drive business results, communicate effectively. Key performance indicators include increased employee engagement. So this has to do with the format. Um, employee engagement, project completion rates, higher overall business performance. I'd be curious to see how that will be measured. Let's see if ChatGPT actually tells us. Success is measured through pre and post program assessment of participants' leadership skills. How do you assess them? The only way I know how is through a 360 degree feedback, uh, which is something that we'll talk about next month. Um, but okay, let's leave it as is. Feedback from supervisors and team members. So feedback and business performance metrics. So we don't actually know which metrics. Um, I'm not seeing anything around higher overall business performance. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, and we also asked it for a short uh, SWOT analysis of the company. Uh, strengths, established brands, strong market presence, and highly skilled workforce. It doesn't tell us what industry this is in. Uh, weaknesses, limited international presence, slow to adapt to new technology. This is not good. <laughs> um, opportunities, expansion into emerging markets, diversification, into new product lines and investing in technology innovation and threats, intense competition, changing market conditions and economic uncertainty. Um, so, okay, so we have quite a few things already. We know that uh, this is for leaders, existing leaders uh, between 35 and 45 years old. Uh, they do have some education, bachelor's or master's degree. Uh, they have at least five years of experience, so that's good. And uh, we know that the express pain points are around communication, managing team, and achieving business objectives, uh, which is quite a wide range of topics. And again, I will try my best not to comment on the design of the leadership program. I'll just try to focus on marketing, on kind of marketing this program um, to these potential uh, people. Uh, so we see that there are quite a few things that hopefully by the end of this program they'll be able to do, including leading effectively, communicating more persuasively, achieving business objectives uh, through effective team management, um, and yeah, a bunch of other th stuff. And we have in-person training sessions, group coaching, self-paced e-learning modules, peer-to-peer -peer learning activities. Um, one thing that I would probably add here as well is mentoring from senior leaders uh, because, and this is why I went back to kind of check uh, once again who our target audience is, um, I would definitely add mentoring simply because I feel uh, like these people could benefit from, um, you know, gaining perspective uh, from a more senior leader within the business. But again, at this point in time, we don't actually know what that would look like. Um, so with that being said, this is kind of the leadership development program that ChatGPT gave us. There's quite a lot of information already in it. Uh, so uh, good stuff, which brings us really to the learning, the learner persona template. Now, I told you that our free template, which you can download from the link below, is um, consists of two pages. One is kind of a sample learner persona. The second one is this blank template, which you can use uh, really for your own uh, needs. What we will do is uh, we'll ask ChatGPT to generate a persona for us just so that you can see what that would look like. Uh, but if you want to create your own persona, um, there are kind of two ways of doing it, or rather not two ways, there are two steps uh, to doing it. Uh, first of all, you need to understand what is it that you're trying to achieve. Um, and this is why we will ask ChatGPT to tell us what are the professional goals of our learner persona, uh, what motivates that person to learn. Uh, we'll ask them, uh, we'll ask, sorry, ChatGPT to talk a little bit about the pain points. In other words, uh, what are their uh, pains and fears? And then we'll ask them to, sorry, ask them. I don't know why I keep referring to ChatGPT as them, uh, but ask ChatGPT to talk a little bit about their learning styles. Uh, and then finally, we'll also ask about deal breakers and deal makers, as well as some interests some background and so on. Um, 
but going back to the two steps, and I'm not going to dig too much into it because um, there are whole courses on this, uh, and it would be unfair for me to claim that I can explain this in like two, three minutes. Uh, but essentially, you want to do two things. You want to collect something called primary data and something called secondary data. So very simply put, primary data is any data that you collect for your uh, specific purposes, in our case, understanding your target audience. So for that, you would do stuff like uh, conduct a survey or, or send out a question. Questionnaire. Uh, you would do some interviews or focus groups. Uh, you would talk to people or talk to as many people as possible, uh, really to understand uh, who is that ideal learner that should participate in your training program. And by the way, this is a very useful exercise to do before you design the learning um, program. So if for whatever reason you've only been asked to come in and help with the marketing efforts, uh, then that data should be available already. So primary data, that's one thing that you can do. The second thing you can do is collect something called secondary data. In other words, collect information that has been, sorry, collate information that has been collected for other purposes. A very simple example in this case would be the HR report of all employees. Uh, so very simply put, you can download an HR report with all employees and then filter it by management level, tenure in the company, maybe location if that's important for, uh, for your population, um, sizes of teams, uh, levels in the hierarchy, like whatever might be appropriate there. And then cross-reference that to team goals, to performance metrics, to engagement data. All of these things, uh, again, they have been collected for other purposes, but they will have some indicators about uh, who your ideal uh, or target audience is. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I actually have prepared another prompt to uh, kind of ask ChatGPT to walk us through it. So uh, we won't spend too much time, but again, this will give you an idea of what your learner persona should look like. So here's the prompt. Generate a detailed learner persona for this leadership program by including a short description of their background, professional goals, motivation to learn, pain points of the job, learning styles and preferences, what would help them learn and what would hinder them from learning and their interests. So let's see what chat GPT comes up with. So already we have a very specific learner persona called, well, generically John Smith. So John is a 35 year old professional with a bachelor degree in business administration just like me, and has been working in a leadership role for the past six years. He currently manages a team of 12 people, okay, and is responsible for driving business results. Well, who isn't? John has a track record of success in his role, but is looking to take his leadership skills to the next level. Okay. Again, vague, but okay. Uh, let's take a look at the professional goals of John. So John's professional goal is to continue to grow in his leadership role and eventually move into a higher level management position within the company. So fairly... Um, fairly unambitious, I would say. <laughs> um, quite a lot of people, uh, especially with John's uh, background, not background, but experience, uh, especially being in this role for six years, would probably want to kind of not just get to a higher level management position, but is dreaming of a C-level position or something along the lines. Motivation to learn. John is highly motivated as he sees it as a way to advance his career and become a more effective leader. So this is great news for us already because this means that our uh, ideal target audience or target audience uh, wants to be there. So they're kind of ripe. Um, so to speak. Uh, so with not a lot of nudging, can you get their interest and attention? Uh, remember the idea? We'll, we'll see what that looks like. Uh, he's also interested in learning new skills and strategies to help him overcome the pain points he experiences in his job, which leads us to our pain points. John's main pain points include managing conflicts within his team, okay, communicating effectively with team members, meeting business objectives. He also struggles with work-life balance and often finds himself working to... Uh, working long hours. Um, so immediately off the bat, I can say that, you know, finding himself working long hours, that probably has to do uh, with a little bit of time management, uh, a little bit of um, 
self-productivity. Uh, so we can kind of get an opening there. Uh, we, we need to start thinking about what is that message? How will we get John's interest uh, for, uh, for this? So learning style and preferences, uh, he's a visual and kinesthetic learner, meaning he learns best through seeing and doing. He prefers hands-on activities and real world examples that he can relate to his own experiences. Again, most people do. He also likes to receive feedback and have the opportunity to reflect on his learning. So this is very important to us because if um, our leadership program I'm just going to go back uh, really quickly here. Our leadership program actually said that it offers in-person training sessions. It has group coaching. It's how self-paced e-learning and it has peer-to-peer -peer learning activities. So really receiving feedback can be integrated into all of these uh, learning methods. Uh, so they can have an opportunity to really truly reflect on their learning. So again, we're now uh, getting a bit more specific about how we can craft a message that really resonates with John. Uh, what would help John learn? So he would benefit from a mix of individual and group coaching sessions where he can receive personalized feedback. There we go, J just what I said. Uh, Chad GPD was a step ahead of me. Uh, on his leadership style and develop specific strategies to overcome his pain points. He would also benefit from self-paced e-learning modules that allow him to learn at his own pace and real-world simulations that would allow him to practice his skills in a safe environment. Now, um, I do want to point out that usually this is an exercise you would do before you even start designing a program. Um, I can give you examples from my experience. Uh, in 2019, I was working on a year-long leadership program. We spent three months just analyzing what are the needs, uh, what do we need to focus on, how do we need to do it, uh, just so that we can get this, get this information and really craft or design a leadership program that would truly, truly benefit the people in it. Uh, another example is the client that I'm working with right now. Uh, one of my clients uh, is doing a leadership program as well uh, for uh, mid-level managers and their learning needs analysis took six months. So they're very clear about who that kind of ideal or not ideal, but rather uh, target learner is. Uh, and so all of this would feed into the design. So when we say that John could benefit from a mix of individual and group coaching sessions, this means that in our design, we will integrate some kind of a mixture of individual and group coaching session. When we say that he likes uh, personalized feedback, we will ensure that this is actually part of um, his uh, part of his program. Uh, all right, what would hinder them from learning? John's busy schedule and workload may hinder. Well, again, this is fairly common. Um, hinder his ability to fully engage with the program. He may also struggle with adapting to new learning methods or find it difficult to apply what he has learned in a real world setting. Uh, and finally, interest. John is interested in sports, particularly basketball and football. He also enjoys reading and watching documentaries about successful business leaders. He has a passion for travel and has visited several countries in Europe and Asia. Um, so, just a very quick note here on uh, the interest. This should uh, kind of help us uh, understand maybe some of the visuals that we can use to attract his attention. Uh, maybe uh, in our marketing materials, we can use visuals of, um, I don't know, uh, the great uh, pyramids of Giza, where each one represents uh, one of the benefits that John would get from this program. Um, I'm just spitballing here, really. I'm, I'm making it up as I go. Uh, but all of these uh, interests, again, they're there or maybe we can use the the, the basketball and football um, passions there or interests there uh, to kind of again craft a uh, metaphor or a simile or uh, a marketing material that would really speak to John and uh, everyone who John represents um, so yeah this is this is just one way to do it um, and again going back to the template uh, this is what your ideal persona would look like now um, will you be creating a learning persona persona for every single program probably not uh, but understanding your target audience understanding what are their goals understanding what are their pain points should really help you uh, craft those messages uh, craft those um, again the the thing that will really speak to your target audience uh, with that being said um, 
let's take a look at another prompt because uh, one of the things that we said is that you can use many different strategies and this is exactly what I want to explore with ChatGPT to see what it will tell me. So the question I'm posing is what marketing strategies would be appropriate to promote this particular program to the internal target audience? Um, so let's hit send and give ChatGPT just a second to uh, kind of think this through. Um, straight off the bat, I see email campaigns here, uh, which is kind of the most common ones and the ones that you would probably use most often because it's free. Uh, most of the time you can uh, email large uh, amount of people or a large number of people. Oh, it's still generating. Okay, ooh, some interesting stuff on here. Uh, you know what, let's... Um, Let's take this into my iPad and see, uh, there we go, and see what we have here. So I'm just going to increase the size a little bit. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, the first one is email campaigns um, and kind of like I said, this is this is really the one uh, that is the most common one, the one that you would expect to do at any uh, point in time. Um, in Intranet portal, again, same thing. Uh, as a learning and development uh, practitioner, you should have some access to the intranet. Either you would have a page on there or a link to your uh, learning management system or a link to your learning portal. Uh, so that would be a great way to uh, use that. The manager endorsement, there we go. The, this is the one that I mentioned. Uh, managers can be encouraged to endorse the program and communicate its benefits to their direct report. So again, if they have been in this program in the past, they would be the perfect people to talk about it. Um, okay, info sessions. Let's see what ChatGPT means by this. So information sessions can be held to provide employees with an overview of the program answer any questions they may have and provide an opportunity to meet the program instructors. Oh, I did something. Apologies. There we go. Um, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Uh, oh, there we go. The brochures that I mentioned earlier, a program brochure can be created to provide employees with a detailed overview of the program, including the curriculum learning um, outcomes and testimonials. Um, just one note on brochures. It's obviously not going to work for everyone and for every company, uh, simply because uh, you may have a company that works exclusively from home, in which case having a printed brochure, just it's not going to um, make sense. Uh, but you can have have a digital one that is on your learning and development pages, on the internet, on your learning management system, uh, or even something that you sent to uh, the managers of the managers who you want to uh, get in your learning program, or the HR business partners, or um, other, I don't know, department heads maybe, or something along those lines. Um, social media, of course, internal social media, Yammer, Workplace by Facebook, uh, Slack. Um, I'm sure there are others that I can't think of right now. And one thing that caught my attention, gamification. So let's see what ChatGPT means by that. Uh, gamification elements can be included in the promotion of the program to make it more engaging and exciting for employees. For example, a leaderboard can be created to track the progress of participants and reward those who excel in the program. Um, I both like and don't like this. <laughs> um, I mean, it could be a fun way to, definitely a fun way to kind of promote the program um, and really get it going. Um, I don't know if I would use it for a leadership program. I'd probably think of adding some gamification elements to uh, promoting a program that's available to all employees, potentially. Um, I can almost think of like scavenger hunt, uh, follow our channel, for example, on Slack. Um, in each of our posts, we're going to add a secret message. And if you collect all the clues, then you'll find find out how you can register or you'll get, I don't know, a bonus <laughs> for registering to our program. Um, just something off the top of my head. Again, I don't, I don't really know. Um, 
But no, this is really good because uh, essentially what we need to remember is that emails is something that will always be available to us. Uh, chances are you always have some kind of a social media. Chances are you do have an internet portal that you can utilize for your marketing efforts. Um, and uh, it's really now time for us to think about what are those messages? How do we craft a message? And luckily for us, ChatGPT is really, really good at this. So let's go back to ChatGPT. And here's the next prompt that I have prepared for us. Now, this one is a longer one. Um, I want, I'm asking this time around ChatGPT to generate an engaging email to the target audience, announcing the launch of the internal leadership program. I want you to use uh, the AIDA and include a message about the ideal participants, the unique value proposition of the program, and how to sign up. Keep the message short, concise, and compelling. So let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. So already we have a subject, join our leadership development program, unleash your full potential. Now, one thing that I'm going to say about uh, subject lines is that they're very important. Usually uh, when people are skimming their inbox, they will make a snap decision on whether or not to open your email based on the subject line. So uh, I would definitely definitely encourage you to think very carefully about what subject line uh, or what subject you want to use there. Uh, this to me is too long. I would probably, uh, I'd probably shorten it. Uh, join our leadership development program. If I have a name, which chances are most uh, leadership development programs do have names. Um, I would say join our name of program. Um, Unleash your full potential to me is just way too generic. I wouldn't use it. Uh, there, there are actually a number of uh, free, uh, what are they called? Uh, headline analyzing tools, I think. Uh, <laughs> you can Google it, uh, that can uh, give you a bit of an idea of how you can make your, uh, it's for headlines, obviously, for blog posts, for articles and stuff like that, uh, but you can use the same ones for uh, subject lines and kind of get an idea of what that would look like. Uh, so let's take a look at the email itself. So dear employee name, we're thrilled to announce the launch of our new leadership development program designed to help mid-career professionals. <laughs> Oh, chat GPT. Um, I probably wouldn't use that in an email. <laughs> like this is just for internal information. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you, hey, you're in your mid-career, you're a mid-career professional. <laughs> that wouldn't, no. Um, okay, so uh, designed to help mid-career professionals like you, uh, that, yeah, just keep Okay, beating a dead horse. Uh, take their leadership skills to the next level and achieve their career goals. Now, I do like, on the one hand, I do like the sentiment. Again, to me, that is just too generic. Um, I would probably want to get something a little bit better here. So let's see. I mean, again, let's read through it. Are you looking to become a more effective leader, improve your team management skills, and drive better business results? If so, your leadership, our leadership program is perfect fit for you. So see, I would probably get rid of this entire thing and instead keep it here. And, and start here uh, because this gives me more information about, uh, you know, specifically what this program is all about. Um, ideal participant, I don't know if I'd have it as a title or a heading in my email, but yeah, why not? Uh, the program is designed for professionals like you who have at least five years of experience in a leadership role and are looking to develop new skills and strategies to overcome common pain points such as managing conflicts within their team, effective communication, and achieving business objectives. Fair enough. Again, uh, I wouldn't use this as is. I would try to make it a little bit more personal, uh, maybe change the tone depending on what tone is kind of common in your organization. Uh, maybe um, add a few of the company goals in here to uh, really highlight the connection between what the company wants to achieve and what this program is designed to help you do because uh, there should be a connection there. Uh, but again, that's a design thing. I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> it says unique value proposition. <laughs> uh, so definitely not a heading you want to have in your email. Um, our leadership development program is unlike any other program available. We provide unique learning experience that blends in-person training sessions, group coaching, self-paced e-learning modules, and peer-to-peer -peer learning activities. This comprehensive approach ensures that you receive personalized coaching and gain practical experience to apply your new skills in the workplace. 
I have actually loved this. Uh, it kind of gives you a very good uh, picture of what you can expect in this program. Um, I would probably just for ease of reading, I'd probably include a bulleted list in there. So this is what, how I would change it. Uh, and again, simply because people like to skim through and your email needs to really help them skim through the information and really kind of focus on uh, the parts that they want to focus on. Um, so yeah, I would definitely do this as a bullet list, but I love the sentiment. Again, it tells us exactly what we need to know. Um, and then we have how to sign up. Enrollment for the program is now open and we invite you to take the first step towards unlocking your full potential. To sign up, simply complete the enrollment from our um, form on our internet portal to reach out to our, or sorry, reach out to our program coordinator for more information. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to invest in your future and become a better leader. Join our leadership development program today. Best regards to your name. Um, so we do have woven in the AIDA here. We have the uh, attention right over here, sort of, hey, is this you? Do you want to do this? Uh, then here's what we also offer. Uh, it talks a little bit about uh, the interest and how it piques your interest by saying all these wonderful things around, hey, this is who our ideal participant is. Uh, then it gives you more um, things you would like to desire. And again, if we go back to our uh, learning pers learner persona earlier, uh, we see that most of these things are things that uh, John, I believe his name was John Smith, um, John would find really invigorating and really interesting and really exciting. So there we go. Um, and then we have an action. How to sign up enrollment for the program is now open. Uh, so again, by the way, just a side note here, uh, ChatGPT, really great for generating the basics. Would you use it 100% as is? Probably not, and you shouldn't either. Um, so let's check or rather test ChatGPT with one more prompt, uh, but this time it's pretty much the same prompt, but we're changing for internal social media, AKA Slack. Uh, or maybe I should change it instead of for Slack, um, maybe do IE Slack because uh, your, again, your program could be using, uh, sorry, your organization could be using a different uh, internal social media. So let's take a look at what ChatGPT generates for us. Attention all mid-career. <laughs> Attention all mid-career professionals. Um, again, please, no, don't. <laughs> Are you looking to take your leadership skills to the next level and become a more effective leader? If so, our new leadership development program is just what you need. By the way, um, I just want to say uh, this message, because we are talking about a leadership development, and, and granted, we are uh, looking at it as an example, uh, but this would be most appropriate for a group that only consists of managers, so you wouldn't post this uh, to everyone because it's uh, obviously not going to be available to everyone. Um, that's kind of one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is, uh, well, what if you do post it? Uh, so that everyone can see, uh, even though they may not apply, maybe it's a good engagement strategy to kind of let them know that, oh, by the way, our leaders actually get this opportunity. Um, so I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, it could go, uh, you could do it either way. Um, let's take a look. Ideal participant. The program is designed for professionals like you who have at least five years of experience. Yeah, same thing. Benefits of the program. Our leadership program offers a comprehensive learning experience that combines in-person training sessions, group coaching, self-paced e-learning modules, peer-to-peer -peer learning activities, blah, blah, blah. Um, how to sign up. So same thing. Unlock your full potential and join our leadership development program today. And then we <laughs> We have hashtags, leadership development, invest in yourself, become a better leader. Um, yeah, so this is a fairly good, it's very similar to what we had earlier. Uh, but I think this is important to uh, mention that, and I didn't mention it earlier, but might as well do it now. Uh, one of the... Um, really key success factors when it comes to your marketing efforts, according to marketing professionals anyway, is the fact that uh, you need to have consistency across all your channels, across all your messaging. Uh, and if you send out an email like that and then follow that up with a post uh, to your Slack messages, or sorry, Slack or whatever, uh, internal social media, then that just shows consistency. So I think that's uh, kind of good.
Okay, with that being said, uh, and uh, I realize we're 50 minutes into this live stream, so uh, why don't we talk a little bit about the marketing plan? Now, I did mention earlier that Normally, you would talk about your target audience, your messaging, your channel, and your budget. What I've also done is included an owner here and a deadline, so I think that would nicely wrap up what your marketing plan would look like. Um, and just to give you an example, let's say that um, I need to go back to <laughs> what was the name of our learning persona? Uh, John. It was John Smith. I don't know why I keep forgetting. Uh, so let's say that uh, John Smith is one of our target audience or uh, if you're not doing personalized uh, learning persona, you could simply say, oh, uh, we are looking at all managers um, and then use whatever nomenclature you use. It could be grades. Uh, it could be, uh, I don't know, levels. Uh, it could be C minus whatever. I've seen it all. Uh, so you would sort of have different groups of people that you would want to reach out. Uh, you would also potentially want to uh, reach out to the managers of the learners, of the people that you want to participate in your program. Um, so this is also someone that you would potentially want to reach out to. Uh, so what would be the messaging? Well, the messaging could be, hey, uh, we're launching this, you know, check it out. Uh, or, uh, I don't know, first session starts at whatever. Um, or, let's make it more fun, uh, maybe you kind of want to generate some excitement around the program. Uh, so maybe you just do a bit of a teaser first, right? Nobody knows anything. All of a sudden, a video appears on the internet. It has like short snippets. It's all inspirational, but there's nothing really to it. We don't actually say anything. And at the end, there is like coming soon or stay tuned. Uh, so a bit of a teaser, a bit of a let's generate some excitement. Um, and then you do launch. Um, maybe it could be an event. Actually, that kind of takes us to the channel. Maybe uh, this will be a video um, on, yeah, let's do it on Slack. And then the launch uh, could be an email or it could be a lunch and learn. Um, what else could it be? Um, it, could, ooh, it could be a webinar, right? Uh, it could be an article on uh, the internet. Um, so many things that it could be. It could also be uh, kind of announced at the town hall because I have hijacked town halls in the past to announce the sort of leadership program. So that could be the, uh, that too. Um, you'd also want to send out potentially an info pack uh, with, hey, by the way, this is what the program is all about. Um, and this could really go to the managers of the learners to, for them to understand what this program entitles and so on. Um, so this is, yeah, a lot of, um, obviously this is messy what you're seeing on the screen, but it's just me kind of thinking through uh, what are some of the options. Um, and so for each of these, you would have um, an owner, you know, someone who would be responsible for the creation, someone who would be responsible for the rollout. Uh, you would potentially have a budget, for example, oh, this could be um, easily an email as well. Uh, so an email doesn't cost you anything, uh, but maybe a video on Slack is something that you would need to contact, I don't know, your marketing department uh, or an external agency that you're working with, uh, or maybe uh, you are using one of those uh, video creation tools like Beyond or Powtoons. Uh, so maybe that will cost you, I don't know, $100 or something. And so you would sort of think through uh, really all the different costs uh, that you have throughout uh, your kind of efforts to populate, uh, popularize, not populate. Um, and then it's best if you have a deadline because otherwise all of this is just a wish list. Uh, the deadline is really one of the best ways to keep track of, okay, what is happening, what is not happening, and so on. Uh, so a deadline could be 31st of March or 1st of April because uh, we're really close to April and I can't wait. <laughs> um, so this is what a marketing plan would look like. Um, and so, yeah, 
you would need to think through quite a few things, including who your target audience is, including the messaging, the most appropriate channel. Uh, by the way, we do also have a blog post on crafting the ideal marketing message that resonates with your audience up on our website. So definitely check that out. Um, and we do talk about what is the uh, what are some of the channels that are available to you? Um, and then your marketing plan, ideally uh, adding owner budget and deadline would be ready. And all that's left is really to implement it. So uh, with that being said, this is kind of um, where, where we're at. Um, I know that uh, that was a lot. So luckily for you, the recording of this live webinar will remain on our channel. But thank you so much for joining our session today. Uh, you have been an amazing audience. Uh, nobody seemed to uh, ask any questions, which means hopefully I've done my job well. But if you do have any questions when you watch the recording, make sure to pop those in the comments below. Uh, we do go live every month uh, and we announce these events on LinkedIn. So make sure you follow the LND Academy's page there. We also post lots of useful tips and tricks. We announce new blog posts and share free templates with our followers. Uh, we share at least one freebie each month, so make sure to check it out. And uh, for everyone who stuck till the very end with us, uh, like I promised, I do have a special promo code for uh, all of our online courses. So you can take advantage of 20% off by using the code marketing for l &D. You should see that on your screen now. Uh, make sure that it's uh, only good for seven days after the stream. Uh, you can check out all of our courses uh, at the link in the description down below. Again, this course, uh, this code will only be valid for seven days after the stream. If you uh, kind of missed that deadline, make sure to follow us on social media because we do post lots and lots of content uh, on there, including some regular promotion. So, hey, you never know, you might snatch another discount to some of our courses. Uh, with that being said, if you enjoy the stream and would like to see more like it, please consider liking and subscribing to the LND Academy channel. This is really the only way to support us and to help us grow the channel. Good luck, everyone. Thank you for being here, and I will see you around. Bye for now.